Hello, this is a video on how to decode what the current number or code is on this lock. The model number is 651 and uh, in different countries it has different letters after it. So for example, it looks like Europe might be 651 EURD, Brass Combination Padlock by Masterlock, uh, and possibly in other countries, maybe Australia, it is 651 DAU. So I've just done another video on how to change the code. I didn't see what I set it to. Now I need to work out what the, uh, the number is. I tried for a very long time putting pressure on the, the pin that releases it uh, and pulling on the shackle and just moving the numbers. Didn't help at all. Uh, in the end I used a method which I've seen used before, on, often on the, the number combinations where there are box stuck on the wall or key safes, uh, seems to, this lock also seems to suffer from the same problem and makes it very easy to, well I say very easy, makes it quite easy to decode. Get something which is metal, pointy and very thin. So uh, it's difficult to kind of describe how thin this knife is. It's not sharp but it is very thin. It's like a craft knife or something similar. Uh, I use it a lot for opening up computers uh, where they're just plastic buttered together that you need to get down and then uh, ping it out and undo plastic clips. But it's a 103 by RGM, bought it on Amazon ages ago. I slide that down the side of the first dial on the top side of all of these dials and turn the dial until I feel the knife lifting and then dropping. Okay, so I felt that drop there. You may have even heard it. If I go and turn my heater off, you might hear further ones. I might I'll do that again. So that dropped on number seven. So if I start again, putting that down, pushing in and kind of towards the center of the dial. So I can feel it now lifting up. And there we go my knife dropped down into a notch which is aligned kind of with number seven so I'll leave that there I'm going to write down the number seven for the first one move on to the next one so down the side of that push in and turn the dial around getting difficult to turn. Hmm, I haven't done anything there. Let's try again. I'm not getting anything out of that dial, I'll come back to that one. It's getting difficult to turn. And that definitely dropped down into a notch. Not sure whether it's two or three, so I'm going to go around that one again. drops down into the notch when it's aligned with number three. So we know that that one is three. I think I've already found that one. That one might also be a number three. So let's go around again.
the knife's lifting up and yeah just drop down into a notch there so it's a uh, seven something three three and uh, I think this might be trial and error on this one just trying lots of times whoops so the other thing is your knife needs to be in the same place everywhere so if you start if you do it up here on one and then down there on another you're going to get different results about what numbers being displayed in this line so make sure that every time you do it you've got the knife in the same position on all the dials so potentially number two I think let's go around again it's getting difficult to turn The knife's definitely not dropping into anything there. Difficult to turn again. Might be three. Not entirely sure why that one's being so difficult to uh, to f identify. Really, we do try a more aggressive angle. So still aligned at the top of the. Uh, the slot but uh, a different angle. Whoops. Nothing, no feedback at all. Definitely gets very difficult to turn around that two mark. Wonder if I go, if I go upside down or backwards. Oh, that's so frustrating. Let's try going backwards. Again, difficult to turn around the two. Definitely no drop. So I'm going to do a question mark on that one. And this is going to take quite some time because I can't work out that second dial. We're going to start. We know that it's seven something three three, but it will not align with these these bars. So the the notches that we found on the dials are what this bar here goes through. That will not be uh, what you know. The bars won't align with this line here. So we need to rotate them all one, and then press. But uh, I need to just quickly note what we started on, so that's three, which is now going to be a four. But because I don't know this one, I've now got to go through, whoops, uh, turning this one to every combination out of the lot. We've reduced the number of combinations that this could be. So I'm turning it, trying to unlock it, turning it, trying to unlock it and then we're back to how it was before. So now we move everything one again. So we're now at nine, five, five, five. And I'm gonna turn this one because I don't know what number this one's likely to be. I'm pretty confident about the others, but not that one.
Okay, we're back to the beginning, so now we'll do 0, 6, 6, 6, so moved the whole lot by 1, and then go through every combination on that second one. And we're back to where we were, so we're now moving along one across all of them. Oh, there we go. So, I had identified that it dropped, it got difficult to turn on the two, and then I couldn't feel the knife dropping down, but that just kind of extra tension on the two made me start at the number three. So the number for this lock, which I'd set in the previous video, totally blindly, I like that. I did not know this number when coming to decode here, uh, but you can kind of see what I did there, which is I, don't, I identified, and hopefully on your lock you can identify every single one, but on mine I was confident on one, three, and four, and I wasn't so confident on number two. So I just had to go through all the combinations, uh, moving all of these one by one, but on number two, because I didn't know or wasn't confident, I also had to go through every one on that. And there we go. We have unlocked that without knowing the code. Now we do know the code, we can lock it up and nobody's, uh, nobody's the wiser. Or you can change the code, uh, see the link in the video description on how to change the code on one of these locks. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.